hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create this look for january of 2020 and i'm using the 18a bluya away palette by morphe so if you're interested in learning how to create this look just keep watching i'm going in with this palette it has become my favorite palette since december of last year and it has a mirror inside which is a big plus so the first shade i'm going in with is called applause and i'm using the brush jh30 from the jacqueline hill by morphe collection and i'm gonna be applying this on my crease and i'm gonna buff this out also on my v area the next shade i'm gonna be using is called headliner this is a gray color this is one of my favorite shades on this palette and i'm using the brush jh35 it's a smaller fluffy brush and i'm only gonna be buffing this out onto that outer v area do not go above the previous color because we want both of these colors to be noticeable I'm only using this one palette for this whole makeup look so you guys don't have to worry about going back into like another one or purchasing a different one. Now I'm going back in with the first brush I used, JH30, and I'm only using this to blend the shades together. I'm not applying any product whatsoever. I'm just using whatever is left over on the brush. Once I see that both shades are finally blended together, I'm going to be going in with this blue shade called Sky's the Limit and I'm using the JH40 brush. This is a smaller pencil brush but it's also a blending brush if that makes any sense. And I'm going to be applying this right in front of that gray shade and I'm lightly tapping that onto my lid. I'm not going to go into the inner corner, I'm only going to keep this right there in the middle and make sure you blend this out very good so that it looks smoky. An easy way to pack a shade like this onto your lid, try to lay your brush down flat onto your lid and just move it side to side instead of using the tip of the brush and it helps. The next shade I'm going in with is called Sold Out and I'm using the M321 brush. This is a black with blue glitter in it and I'm gonna be applying this on that outer corner. Do not cover up the blue, only take up half of that shade and then apply it towards the outer edge of your eye if that makes any sense we're going to be creating sort of a wing like if we were doing our eyeliner but with powder and then i'm going to be going back in with the brush jh30 it's the first brush that i use with no product whatsoever i'm just going to use this to blend out those shades together next i'm going in with the shade autograph and i'm using my finger to apply this because i feel like it's the best way to apply shimmery shades onto your lid and i'm going to be tapping this right on top of that other blue shade that we applied but i'm not going to take this all the way out there to the outer corner because i still want that blue shade to be visible too so after i apply this i'm going to be going in with a silvery shade and I'm using the brush JH41. It's a flat brush. This shade is called Celeb Status. And I'm going to be spraying this with the Urban Decay Setting Spray so that it gives me better results. It's already very creamy, buttery, and very bright, but I want it to be a little extra. So I'm applying this like that. And I'm not using any concealer, so this isn't a cut crease. And I'm going to be applying this lightly on top of that blue shimmery shade but I'm not going to cover it all up entirely. Next, I'm going in with my Believe Beauty Concealer and I'm going to be cleaning out that outer area of my eye just to give it a sharp look. And this concealer is very, very affordable, guys. It's like $4 in any Dollar General store. But yeah, next I'm going to be going in with the shade Sold Out again and I'm using the brush M432. This is also from Morphe. And I'm using this brush so I can get tight into that lower lash line area. I don't want this to have a lot of fallout and make a mess. And this brush is very good at keeping this in place. So I'm going to be using this all the way across all over my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to be going in with the shade Sky's the Limit. I'm using the E36 brush. This is also from Morphe. And I'm going to be using this shade just to blend that dark shade under my lash line out and be careful with this blue shade you guys it can make a mess especially because these are dark colors but luckily this doesn't stick onto my skin or anything so i'm okay with the fallout i don't know if you guys are but that's just how the palette is it does have a little bit of fallout now i'm going in with the jh30 again just to buff out those shades and make it smoky just like the top now I'm going in with my favorite mascara. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I'm going to be applying a couple of coats on my top lashes. Not too much because I know that I'm going to use some false lashes. 
and also I'm gonna apply this on my bottom lashes as well because it's important it helps your eyes pop a little bit more next I'm going in with one of my new favorite eyeliners this is from Maybelline it's very good you guys it doesn't dry out and it's very affordable it's from eight to nine dollars I believe and I fell in love with it so I'm gonna be applying this on my top lash line carefully and i'm not gonna be creating a wing with this look because it's already dramatic as it is so i wanted to keep it this way because i wanted the colors to be more noticeable and the wing i knew was gonna cover some of it so yeah after i apply this eyeliner i'm gonna be going in with some liquid eyeliner as well this eyeliner is from italia deluxe and this is gonna help my eyeliner look a lot darker and also it's gonna help me hide my false lashes more and another perk about it is that on that inner corner of my eye where I apply it it doesn't start to come off like other eyeliners do so when you use these two gel and liquid eyeliners it does not come off and I love the results now I'm going in with one of my favorite pair of lashes that I've used more than once already and these are the style gala from lash couture also, meanwhile, I do this. I just want to let you guys know that you should add me on social media because on my Instagram, I always let you guys know once I'm going to be posting a new video. And for my final step, I'm going to be using the Italia Deluxe Pencil Eyeliner to apply on my waterline. And yeah, guys, that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here are the results. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.